Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in today's uh, video, uh, I will continue what I um, started the previous uh, lecture in lecture three and give you some uh, exercise or homework to do. Uh, this is a very basic site that have uh, two twin buildings. They are actually a mirror to each other located in uh, 20 meter by 20 meter land divided into two halves. So in uh, the second part of lecture three for today, I will give you that as a homework or as a practice for you uh, to exercise actually what we've done and what we actually learned in the previous lecture. So we're going to need a couple of lines and offset and fill it and also a mirror. The best, uh, the best strategy actually is to look at the units first and it, as you can see uh, here they are really like uh, uh, big numbers that's mean this is a uh, a very smaller uh, units uh, that means this is a millimeter so we're gonna start by fixing millimeters first and drawing the building from outside actually a land here from outside dividing it into this line uh, divide, uh, draw this units and then mirror it so don't try to bother by doing the same geometry twice so the first thing to be done is to look at the dimension as I said and uh, it's like a 20,000 by 20,000 millimeter go back to uh, AutoCAD and uh, you know go to units and in units make sure that you are in millimeters now I will have my first line and probably we need to hit F8 in order to get that in ortho and then we draw a first uh, let's go uh, yeah, that's a 10,000 actually I can't see the end of the line even if I zoom out so very easy you can you know scroll uh, out as much as you can nothing it's okay just hit escape twice and then double click on the scroll or uh, Z the space E space double click on the scroll will zoom zoom extend will perform zoom extend as you can see now if you zoom out with the regeneration so when you zoom out you can see the whole line that whole 10,000 uh, millimeter line now I'll draw another perpendicular line here goes like uh, 20,000 mil I can go again and go another 20,000 go up again the same thing and uh, that's my you know like uncompleted uh, uh, uncompleted uh, border I'll just divide it into two like this and then go ahead and use fillet and uh, you know get uh, this uh, ready to be finished and closed uh, that's uh, that's basically it how we draw the site and again uh, ladies and gentlemen we don't have any uh, as you can see uh, I didn't teach or explain any line types or hatch in this uh, videos yet so I'll, I'll do that later so I'll assume everything you see here uh, is a continuous line and you know for the hatch I'm not gonna do I'm just needed to tell you that this is the build part the built part of the building while that is a walkway so now I have done the the entire site uh, or the area or the land uh, divided into two now I'll focus on drawing this geometry and uh, really good idea to zoom in and be careful from where the offset is getting uh, and uh, it's getting from the edge of the uh, of the land to this face so that's 5000 if you zoom down or scroll down that's a 3000 here and that's another 5000 down so I'll go O space and then say 5000 and then you know offset the top part of the building as a 5000 and then an offset of a 3000 as such here to draw that uh, to draw that uh, you know like east setback another 3000 for the right setback from here actually so that's technically uh, is my building uh, located in the in the middle almost of the side so uh, again uh, all I need is now actually to offset another 2000 by 2000 to create this uh, 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 you know setback shape and then we have to come here again hit escape offset again 2000 so that's my offset here and that's my offset here I will hit escape so that's my shape so probably if a space R space zero space M space so I'm gonna do this as you see here 
that's my building that's the that's the exact outside of it now probably we need a fillet of a radius 1000 it's okay it's f space r space 1000 and then you need that guy and that guy to be you know filleted so that's what we have so that's the building exactly we finished the first part uh, actually the second part so the first part was creating the land the second part to create the outside border of the buildings now we can just uh, you know offset those border back by 1000 all sides and as you see that the dimension is actually provided once in here that means all edges actually here here and here is actually a basic 1000 offset and before we jump and do the thing uh, I think I forgot this radius here filleted also so F is base and remember that AutoCAD remember that the last uh, uh, radius is one so I'm just gonna click here and here and that's it now I'm gonna go offset 1000 to create a walkway and create one here one here and one to the west and one to the south and again F space R space zero space M space and select the lines select this guy and this guy this guy and this guy to create the outside uh, walkway that we have around our building which is technically here and then that's another offset here or another fillet here e, that's a tricky thing so if I was you I'll just offset 1000 to this like that and then tr space space and get rid of that i don't recommend to do a fillet radius because if you need to do that you have to make fillet radius 2000 as this arc have a bigger radius than this one by the extra amount of you know the walkway that we have so uh, that's it guys we almost you know finished so that's the building that's the walkway all what we need is to mirror and that's my mirror line uh, you can come back to AutoCAD and then hit M, I, and then hit space. Select all the ob all the objects inside, like all the building and the walkway. Hit space. Now you need to draw the mirror line. So you start from the end point of this line, and that's uh, again the end point of that line. Do you want to array? The default is no. So just hit space, and that's it, guys. We we have this exercise or homework uh, done, and it's very easy. It won't take more than like uh, five to ten minutes out of your time. I wish that you find this uh, homework or exercise useful for you. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.